Hey Google, stop. Hey Google. Wake me up in 30 minutes. Hey Google. What's the latest news? What is happening people? Uh, my name is Steven. I'm a corporate professional working in the financial services industry and um, yeah, welcome to a day in the life <laughs> on my day off. Yeah, I think this video is going to be split into two parts. My morning routine on my day off and then um, yeah, a day in the life on my day off. Just enjoy various random clips of me doing stuff for my morning routine and then i'll probably like catch up with you guys after gym and sort of talk you through like the morning and how everything went also do you guys like my new tapestry drip look at that look how hard it is i'm not gonna lie to you, i'm a bit annoyed because i kind of messed up my wall trying to put it up but i think i'm gonna flip it into something a lot more spectacular in the future in terms of a, a, a i want to make it like a wall of art or something like that yeah, I got it from Amazon. Um, I'll put the link in the description, being the diligent YouTuber that I am. But yeah, I need to go get my bagel and make my way to the gym because, yeah, I want to lift some heavyweights today. So, yeah. What's happening people? I just came back from the gym now and I thought I'd give you guys a bit of a rundown in terms of my morning routine on my day off. I don't feel like it's any different from like, you know, when I'm when I'm at work. The only sort of maybe nuanced difference is that I try to do a lot more things during this time frame because um, I have the luxury of time so it's like yeah why not um, because typically when I'm at work um, I'll wake up a lot earlier in anticipation for getting ready for work starting work at 9am so I'll try to do everything as quick as I can before 9am. The last four weeks um, has been a bit manic in terms of work, personal life and <laughs> I don't even want to blame YouTube but it's all stemmed because of YouTube to be honest since I started making content um, I'm sort of spending a lot more time editing which is sort of like you know digging into time that I need to do other things um, and I'm not complaining because I'm enjoying the process and really and truly like it's probably all my fault like I should learn to be, be sort of more efficient so I'm taking this day as a reset day to just sort of like sit down and be like yo Steven you sort of need to get your life together you need to get everything in check I'm saying this and I haven't even edited the video for this week but it's fine because <laughs> the video for this week is quite straightforward um, I've Waking up is like super super important um, duh. Whenever I wake up like typically the first thing I do is like I go on my phone like naturally like you just always go on your phone A source stated that 24% of Millennials turn on their smartphone right after waking up even without an alarm about 52% get on their phones within five minutes of being up and about 45% glance on their phones over 200 times in a day and yeah, like that's that's just not healthy. Like you shouldn't. That's not something I want to do. And I found myself doing that, um, especially since I got into this whole content creation mode. Um, you sort of find yourself seeing, oh, like is there any engagement on my post? Like you know, what could I be doing? Oh, like who likes my thing? And it's just it's such a toxic habit. Initially, like what I was going to do to combat this was I got an alarm clock, um, and I instantly regretted it. And I realised why people don't have alarm clocks anymore. And to set an alarm, like I had to go through leaps and bounds and like follow, like press like five different buttons just to set an alarm, and it just really wasn't efficient. Um, however, it does make a good um, desk clock, I'm not gonna lie, and it's like pretty cool. Like you can click and like you know, it would switch on, so it's pretty cool in that respect. But I thought to myself, like, okay, I want to be switching off my phone whenever I go to bed, like, you know, what can I do? And um, a friend recommended that I get the Google Nest. <laughs> I purchased this Google Nest and initially I was supposed to get it for free because I think Spotify were actually running this um, campaign at the time saying if you move it on to like a premium um, package on Spotify you'd get it for free and I already had premium so I just made another account to get a premium and paid an extra £10 and they told me it ran out so I was pretty upset but then Black Friday came around and I took advantage of that and got it for £19 um, and I think it was £50 initially so it saved some money there Cha -ching. it's just like a, an assistant really like it, you can literally do most things with it so for example I can tell it to wake me up in the next 30 minutes hey Google wake me up in 30 minutes 8.02 a.m. set 
So with that being said, I'm able to switch off my phone and then I'm able to, you know, tell it to wake me up in the next eight hours or set an alarm for 6.30 in the morning. It's super, super vital um, to sort of not ever go on my phone ever again. So yeah, like that's literally what I did. So I woke up at 7.30 this morning. I did want to get eight hours of sleep, but I actually ended up sleeping late because I was doing some other bits and bobs. Um, and I only got six hours of sleep. But with me personally I find that I can operate on six hours even five hours but ideally six hours is sort of the lowest that I would usually go um, admittedly in this past four weeks I've been going lower than five hours um, mainly because of editing and all this other stuff but yeah I had six hours sleep today um, and yeah I woke up I feel I'm feeling really decent and um, thank God for waking up today I'm sort of trying to get into the habit of reading my Bible a lot more didn't read it today but you know process just waking up and not checking your phone super super vital um so i would definitely advise on that front like people get a google nest like it, it will literally change the game for you um once i woke up i decided to get my kindle and um just read for like 30 minutes and again i told google to set an alarm to um what's it just like ring at 30 minutes so i know that my time is up so again like google nest coming through i tried to read first thing in the morning um and there's a lot of benefits to reading but i'll tell you personally why i like to read it's just good to sort of um i guess get some motivating literature early in the morning i read like financial literacy books and just books that will like flipping get me rich <laughs> so it is the kind of books i read um books on productivity you know how to be efficient in your work life and stuff like that current book i'm reading at the moment is the four hour work week i should have finished it like a while back but honestly like because i've been so occupied with other things i just haven't had time to um i find myself like skim reading the four hour work week as well mainly because a lot of the principles in the book is stuff that i already do um how However, I still wanted to read it because a lot of people were recommending it and it's genuinely a good read. Another reason why I like to read as well is just to really expand my vocabulary. Um, a lot of people feel like Kindles are a waste of money but the reason why I got a Kindle is because I think um, another productivity YouTuber, Ali Abdal, I'm going to put his name, I'm going to put his YouTube channel somewhere here but he recommended getting the Kindle. You could sort of highlight certain things in the book and you could come back to it through like searching for your highlights. You could also do stuff like click on a word and it will tell you the definition of the word. You can't do that on a normal physical book. Um, and like again like there's a lot of gems that I see in these books that I sort of want to reference and I'm not I'm not about to carry a physical book and go back and look for all the stuff I highlighted um, we're, in the, we're in the age of tech so um, yeah I definitely advise getting a Kindle and I know a lot of people will probably say no but I prefer the physical book so I prefer the physical book as well and probably a waste of money but this is my personal preference after I read a book on a Kindle I usually get the book as well the physical book just to have like a book collection I think it looks pretty cool books are like fairly inexpensive and it's an investment in yourself I'm really not even fussed like getting a book um Twice. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Now, I recently got into yoga during lockdown. Um, so during lockdown, like work was trying to sort of get us really engaged with um, just various different initiatives and stuff, just to keep our morale up. And um, I think I was the only male that joined yoga at the start. Um, and one of the reasons why I joined yoga, just to give a, give a bit of background, is because. Um, I'm a frequent gym goer, so I lift a lot of weights and with that being said, like my body tends to hurt and I don't know, even though I'm 24, like I really feel like it's catching up to me. I would definitely say for anyone getting into yoga, don't underestimate it. It's, it's really technical, it's not something that's easy and even to this day, <laughs> like I, I'm not I'm not a yoga expert or anything. There's another reason why I got into yoga as well is because I used to be an athlete. And I just thought to myself like yoga seems like a good shout. During the week, my working week, I'll do like quick five minute sessions in the morning. And then on the weekend, I'll do like a 20 minute like yoga session. The goal is like as part of this reset day to try and start doing yoga at least two to three times a week. I usually pick the beginner sessions because even the beginner sessions, the movements they have you doing, it's like, what? Like how do you even, <laughs> like how do you even get to that position? But, um, before again being this whole you know I'm a busy corporate professional I need to be quick 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 I never used to eat before I went to the gym and mainly because I just don't care about gym the way I used to care before
So with that being said, I sort of had a little pre-workout before I went to the gym, had a banana and a bagel. Um, and yeah, it was a fairly decent workout today, to be honest. Like I lifted a decent amount of weight, so I can't really complain. And, uh, before I actually went to the gym, I was listening to the news at the same time, again, on my Google Nest. One of the sick things you can do. Hey Google, what's the latest news? Good morning, this is BBC News. And I'm a big advocate of commercial awareness and I just thought to myself like, you know, let me just hear like what's actually going on in the world before I go to the gym. Again. Routine is so important in my opinion. Um, it's the way I've sort of lived my life. Um, I don't know. I don't know if people are really really believe in star signs but like apparently like Libras love routine and like when I sort of start to fall out of my routine is when <laughs> the madness and like psychologically I just start to lose it bit by bit and I sort of feel myself losing it. Alrighty, so yeah, just to recap, um, you know, wake up in the morning. Make sure you do not go on your phone. Express gratitude for, you know, waking up this morning. And then, you know, get some 30 minute inspiring literature in to improve your vocabulary and just keep you inspired. After that, do some yoga to improve your functionality and health and um, just overall wellness. Um, get a good pre-workout in before you go to the gym while listening to some commercial, commercial awareness news, you know, see what's happening in the world. And then yeah, go to the gym, smash it and come home and <laughs> enjoy the rest of your day and be productive. So that pretty much wraps up the videos for today guys. If you like the video, please like, comment, share and subscribe and turn on post notes so you don't miss a thing. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.